Eric Ten Hag's tactics had many variations and Bruno Fernandes played a key role on them. First, we are gonna analyze Manchester United's offensive structure. In zone A, De Gea had three passing lines with Dalot, Varane and Martinez, while in zone B, Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes tried to create passing lines. When this setup didn't work, Shaw and Fred dropped back, therefore Man United had five players in zone A and Fred joined Bruno Fernandes in zone B. When this happened, Real Betis pressed with six players on Man United's half. Nevertheless, when Real Betis pressed to De Gea, he took poor decisions. When the centre-backs took the ball to zone B, Man United's midfield was a diamond, with Casemiro, Bruno, Shaw and Fred. Therefore, in this space they had the same number of players than the opponents. When Anthony moved inside, Man United's midfielders created a triangle. For that reason, when Casemiro had the ball, Shaw, Fred and Bruno created passing lines behind Betis midfielders. As Bruno received with space, he could play a through ball to Anthony. Also it was important the cleverness of Casemiro because he occupied the right space behind Betis strikers. Anthony moved inside and this created a space for Dalot. Besides Bruno and Fred were behind Betis midfielders and this created a 3-1-6 in attack for Manchester United. So when Casemiro received the ball, he could play with the wingers because Fred attracted to the opponent's fullback and this created a space for Rashford. This time Shaw took the ball to Betty's half and we can see that Man United's structure is still with six players in attack. This time Anthony was on the left. Fred is attracting to the opponent's fullback and he is trying to occupy the half space. As a consequence, Betis tried to cover this space and covered a passing line to him. But this gave time and space for Anthony, who saw that Behorts is moving away from his mark and played a great ball to him. For the second half, Juan Bisaka came in for Dalot and this improved United off the ball because he was solid in defense and, and had more recoveries than Dalo. Bruno Fernandes was the best player for United because he performed the right movements on and off the ball. Rashford received the pass from Casemiro who played fast from a set piece. Bruno Fernandes occupied the space that Anthony left and he started to run on this side. As Betis was unbalanced, no one was close to him. Also because Behorts and Rashford were trying to attack the space behind Betis defensive line. Bruno tried to play with Behorts but Rashford picked up the ball after a rebound and scored a perfect goal. Furthermore, Bruno was important in the build-up because many times he joined the centre-backs. As the midfielders were attracting to Betis midfielders, he received with a space and his teammates started to run for a long ball but also Behorts started to run backwards to receive between the lines because they know that Bruno can find them. Fernandez was usually involved in the best chances for Man United, since he usually started them. He's attracting to the opponent's midfielder and this created space for Anthony. When the ball is played to him, he understood that he doesn't have a proper angle to play with Juan Bisaka. So he passed to Behorts, who on first touch assisted Juan Bisaka. As he didn't have close teammates and space, Juan Bisaka performed a to wait for his teammates. Bruno and Anthony arrived to the final third. Both players realized the space behind Betis' defensive line. Thus, Anthony played with Bruno and ran to the space. Fernandez played a great through ball to Anthony, who couldn't score. On Bruno Fernandez's goal, he was smart to use Varane as a distraction and ran to the space on the first post. Therefore, no one follows him, so he can hit the ball free and scored. Following, we are gonna analyze Manchester United's defensive structure. They tried to cover the central channels on Betty's half with six players. When the opponent broke this pressure and tried to connect with their strikers, the center backs were aggressive to anticipate the passes and recovered the ball. Besides, the midfielders were important to recover the ball because Casemiro and Bruno recovered many balls in this zone. 
For Anthony's goal, Casemiro recovered the ball after a poor pass from Betis and immediately he played with Bruno Fernandes who was running to the space. As he couldn't gain advantage because Betis player was faster than him, he turned and waited for Anthony's movement who moved away from his mark and received the ball. Therefore he had a one-to-one -one situation and had a space. Fred is attracting to the center back so, so he didn't go to cover him and also the midfielder didn't go close to him. So with a space Anthony shot and scored. Leave your thoughts about Eric Ten Hag's tactics and Bruno Fernandes performance. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salada at checkout for a 10% discount.